Hi guys and welcome to Jamie JK and I like to talk about Xbox Live because recently I've been having major problems on my channel lately. It hasn't been working right, hasn't been fixed by Xbox. Xbox has been letting me down because I know that I like to play on my Xbox more than my PS4 and as you know and recently it's been having major problems. I can't see my friends list, I can't message very well and I can't see my live stream, it's not even been streaming live, and it's been down. It's been horribly, horribly going wrong for me. Because Xbox shouldn't do this. They've been going down a lot of the times. And you're thinking to yourself, why don't you just fix your problems and stop going down? And you wonder why people are going on PS4. You know, because PlayStation is, is being better, I suppose, in, in a way of terms of game deals. You know, that I, I bought recently a couple of games on my PS4. And they've been, what, seven ninety nine 99 each. Not even much money. You know, and when I look it up on Xbox, they're like £20, £15. And it's like, what the hell is wrong with, with Xbox Live? Sort your shit out. Because, or oh, I'm not going to go on your platform anymore. I'm not going to stay on there. Because it's annoying me. Because every time something goes wrong with Xbox, I can't live stream. It's coming with a black screen. A black screen. And I can't do anything. Black screen. What? So you're going to break your shit. So you're not going to fix it. Because when you fix one problem, you don't fix another problem. You you fix one and you've got another major problem there. Another major problem. You know? It used to be the other way around. It used to be PS3 having major problems. And the 360 having no problems online. But now it seems to be the other way around. Because no one wants to work on it. Xbox Live. No one wants to work on Xbox. No one wants to do that. No one wants to go to PS4, PS4, PS4. PS4s uh, haven't really got very good controllers. I have a controller right here, and it's so flimsy. I can break this by just pushing really hard. I can break this. You know, the but I don't like the toggles at all. The toggles there are so hard to use. My thumbs slip off. I can't move very well on games on here. It's so stiff. I don't like the way that it lights up, and you can't turn that off. You cannot turn that off at all. You know, I hate that light, you know. And I hate sometimes when games come from the controller voice. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want that in my face. I don't want that at, at, at me. And just, just, just horrible. It really is a horrible way of making a control. The only thing I like about this is you just plug it in and charge it. And then when, it, when it's charged up, you take it out. Simple. You don't need batteries. Who needs batteries these days? You know, who wants batteries on their controllers? You know, just taking it out, just while I play a game and it's gone dead. You know, if, if, if Xbox, take Xbox, like here, you know, like a manly controller, just get a wire, just plug it in. But I don't want to do that. I just want to charge it. So it's got a charge and I can take it off. And then play with it after it had its charge. But no, Xbox won't do that. Xbox is being rather goony at stuff like that. You know, they're not making their they're not making their stuff very very good. The only thing that I like about the Xbox controllers are they feel comfortable and the toggles are better. They're not hard toggles. The toggles are better. It feels a lot better to play on these. And I love Xbox because it loads faster and it uploads games faster and when you put disc in and it's a lot more better for, for gaming I think because 4K is the way to go. 4K gaming is the way to go. You know, I prefer Xbox as a as a live streaming platform and as playing games on, you know. But, but, but for PS4, I only like because they've got deals that are better, deals that are better, you know. And I think that Xbox Live needs to sort out their shit because, oh, I'm just going to turn off and not go back on Xbox Live because at the moment, I'm bored. I'm bored of, of, of no deals, you know, things being full price all the time. And, you know, and I love the Xbox One X. I love it so much. It's got really diverse games, 4K, and it loads faster. And with, with PS4, you just load things really slow. It's really slow. Really, really slow for everything. And I'm thinking, what the hell? Fix your shit Xbox Live. Because you've got to think, no wonder you're not telling us how many consoles you haven't sold. You know, and how how many units you have in your shop, you know. But PS4 tells you all the time. They still have this many, they still have that many, this many, that many. And it's like, what? Give us a statistic, because I would love to know how much Xbox has sold. i just like to know, because it's for reference. It would be really, really good. Really good. Really, really good. And I'm hoping that 
that in the future Xbox will dominate PS4s again, PlayStation again, and all that again. Because they can. They can. They've just messed up. They're just messed up and they're stuck in this messed up loop where they can't get out. No developers want to stay on there. Only time the exclusive. They're like, oh, I don't want to stay on this platform very much because I'm not going to. Because this platform is really stupid and really stupid. We don't want to stay here. You know, we want to be time the exclusive because we know that we can make more money if we go to PS4 because we sold more units and it'd be a lot more better than what we have here. You know, and you don't want to do that. You know, Xbox has to keep their stuff on Xbox. No, we don't want, we don't want really stupid Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves, to me, is a really lame pirate game. You get your pirate ship, you sail on your ship, you sail where you need to go, and when you, when you sail for a couple of hours, you just see nothing but water. And, and the thing is, you get drunk too easy when drinking go off, and you go, and you're drunk straight away. It's like, it's that like 500% or something. <laughs> you know, and then it'd be sick on each other, and who wants to play a game where you just go on each other, and, you know, and you got sick on your face? Who wants to play a game like that, when you've just been sick on the bar, and, and you've just been sick everywhere? I mean, why would you want to do that? You know, and, 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 and all you fight on the islands when you go to are skeletons. Nothing but skeletons. Skeletons, skeletons, skeletons on your left, skeletons on your right, skeletons up above, and skeletons up below, and you like that, ching, ching. Ching, ching, skeletons are dead in my eyes. They are dead. You know, the game is dead, dead, dead. You know, and, and all you do is do one quest, get on your boat. You can't update your character. You can't see your character, what he's wearing, as you start dancing, and that's all you can see. And three, when you meet the Kraken, all you see is nothing underneath. Just some floppy little arms flaying about, and the head, and nothing at the bottom. And, you know, and, 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 and you want more enemies to fight, just skeletons. All you fight is skeletons. Come on, you know, rare. You can do better than this, rare. You know, all you fight is the skeletons, you know. And I played the beta, and I've seen the full game on, on Mixer.com. Someone's playing the full game, and I've seen it. And I just find it really boring as a whole, you know. And then when you look at the map where you're going, it's like you have to go look at the map, and then you have to go back, and then steer the ship, and then go back and forth, back and forth, you know. You know, you have to tell someone where to go, steer left, right, left, right, or you crash your boat and water, water was coming in and you went down. And then the only, the, the first day I got the game, guys, I got, I got voted to be stuck in the, stuck in jail at the bottom of the ship. And I was like, I couldn't do anything. And stuck there for an hour. I was voted to be trapped in that. And it's like, why would you vote me to be trapped in that? Why? Why? I need to start the game. First day I got the game, I was trapped in that. I was like, this is bullshit. I don't want to be trapped in here. I don't want to be stuck. Really, seriously. You know, Xbox need to sort out their games, man. You know, I thought, I thought other games are going to come out. You know, and they haven't come out. They keep being pushed back and back and back. You know, what about Crackdown? Crackdown 3. You know, that was being, that's how it's going to come out, Xbox One X. I thought, oh yeah, I'm going to order that. I love Crackdown. And then, and then look, it's dead. It's not even out. They pushed it back. <laughs> you know, Red Dead's been pushed back. And I thought, where has Red Dead been pushed back? Surely Red Dead would have been, you know, out by now, you know, and, and stuff like that. And I'm, thinking, I'm sick of developers talking about Xbox Live is really more stable online, it's better online. It's not better. It's not better then, is it? Is it? Because it used to be, it used to be absolutely brilliant to on Xbox. I thought, yeah, Xbox is the way to go, way to go, way to go. And it isn't, because I'm always having crashes and things not working. When I go to PS4, everything works all the time. All the time. You know, and right now, Xbox having major problems. Breaking, 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 breaking. And my problem is, I can't stay on a platform where it's just going to keep breaking all the while. And ain't going to work. And it's just going to crash all the while. And I can't be doing with that. I can't be doing with that. You know, crashing, crashing, and crashing. All my shit. I lost my mixer and fix it, fix it, fix it. Please fix mixer. Please. It keeps going down all the time. All the time. Please. I can't live stream much. It's working today, but how long is that going to work for? How long is that going to work for? For it goes down again. Down again. Seriously. You know, and I just think that they need to have some sort of update where they can just sort out their mess but all the updates you get on, 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 on the on the Xbox doesn't seem to be doing anything that's relevant what well, just fixing a couple of bug fixes which I don't need because it doesn't happen to me the bugs don't happen to me hardly you know but lately 
it, it's happening to me more often with the updates. The more updates I have, the more bugs I face every day now. I need to stop updating their shit like five times a day, three times a day, you know, or three times every day. So, no, we don't want that. No, we don't want that. No, we do not want that. You know, with with PS4, I and you hardly update their their shit. And we'll, but when they do, it's a major thing that they do, and it's really good for that. You know, but I'm not saying that I enjoy PS4 more. I'm just saying that they're more stable. What they do, the more updated, the more stable, and things don't seem to be broken. Things don't seem to be broken as much. And if and if and if Xbox is going to go that way, then I'm not going to stay on the platform. That's going to be always be broken and not working. I want something that's going to be stable straight away. I'm going to go on it. Boom. It works. But no, it hasn't lately. It hasn't lately as well. And I'm sick of playing games on a broken platform. When it's broken right now. And, and they know it's broken. They won't tell us what the real reasons are what they're fixing. They're saying that the social down, texting people on their messaging. I mean, you know, and looking at their shit. Looking at what they're doing. But they don't tell you what's really broken. They say, that's broken. They say that's broken, and they say that's broken, but it isn't really broken, is it? You know, because Mix is broken, Twitch is broken, apps are broken, the internet's broken on there, you know, you know, IGN's broken on there, loads of times, you know, YouTube's a major flaw on there as well. Every time I go to YouTube, you have to always sign in again with with, with, with your mobile phone on YouTube, with the code, you know, you know, it's like, stop getting me to sign in. PS4's, I go on YouTube, you don't have to sign in. It's already remembers my password and name. So why is it always having to sign in with that? Surely. Now, surely they need something. Because they lost their exclusive Call of Duty. Because Xbox lost out. So they have to wait for PS4 one month after their new DLC shit. And it's like, well, what if somebody's played it before on PS4 and got it on both consoles? Play it on there. They're going to kick your ass. Because nowhere to go. Nowhere to hide. The new DLC on, on um, Call of Duty... World War Two is out right now on PS4, right? And they shouldn't ha- limit a game which are on both platforms. So on both platforms, why limit that content on that console when people on Xbox can't play that? You know, wait a month. And I don't want to wait a month. I want to play it same time as them. It's not fair. And you're having to let them rule you. You know, you don't care. You're letting them rule. And you're only... It's like, it's like when they go to a pub and you've got regulars, right? We've got regulars, right? You only cater for your regulars and not for newcomers and go, hmm, okay, I want to get a new console because I'm bored of what I'm playing, platform I'm playing at the moment. And look at Xbox and go, nah, I'll stick to PlayStation because I'm a regular of PlayStation. And more people are going to that, sticking with that. And it's like, come on, people. You need to make it accessible for new people to go on it. You know, it's like going to a pub and you have a bunch of regulars going in there and you don't have any new people in there. And it's like, oh, well, the regulars like it. The regulars like it. So it don't matter to me. They like it. They love it. You know, but you're not going to cater to any new people and have more money coming through. You know, more money coming through, are you? You're going to have just money just there for for regulars. And you're not going to make more, more money. You're going to lose out on money. And in the end, the regulars, the regulars are going to die one day. You know, I'm 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 in horrible to old people go pubs nowadays. Like, no offence, but people do die. You know, it's just just fact of life, right? So you die, right? So so you're not going to get many regulars, and then and then it's just going to be a dead or dead. So slowly, Xbox is dying out. Slowly, it's dying out. And you need to get this on board because I'm sick of this shit right now that I'm putting myself through every day just to please my viewers and make them happy. I love streaming on Mixer and I wish Mixer would be on PS4 as well as Xbox. Why limit to one console? Why limit to one console? Why? I don't like that. So you're having to fork out more money and just get another console which is PS4 or Xbox alongside one you've already got. So... You won basically. You you don't you wasting more money and they say you don't want to have to do that. I don't want to have to do that and you don't want to have to do that. And we don't want to see a society where we argue because that's better, that's better. Just make it where everybody can play together and be happy with what they've got. You know, don't go to me or anybody and and and, and, and your community and just don't cater to what, what we want. You don't listen to what we want, you only cater to what you want. You don't care, really, Xbox Live. You don't care, really. And that's my personal view on why I'm mad on Xbox Live at the moment and why I'm sad to say, but 
you know, I, I don't want to have to say this, but I'm, but PS4 is, is winning again. Winning again. PS4 is winning again. Seriously, they're winning again. I don't like it when they keep winning. Winning. <laughs> I used to love Xbox Live. My heart is bleeding for Xbox Live to be better again. Get back to form again. But it isn't. So... What's your opinion, guys? Tell me your opinions, man. What do you like better? Xbox Live or PS4? Or do you just like both? Because I like both, but I love Xbox more because I've got more friends on there and live streaming's better. But I love PS4 for the games, exclusive games. I don't like any exclusives on Xbox Live. None of it. So, you tell me what you like more, guys. Tell me what you like more. Tell me in the comments below. Thank you for watching my rant today, guys. Sorry it's been such a long time coming, but editing this video took a long time editing this video because you know I was uh I was um laughing a lot and I had a lot of noise in the background and I had to edit 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 cut 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 so hopefully this edit is on point right now so thank you guys for watching and my next one is going to be on my cat and um, we're going to be talking about um what color should, should, should I get my cat next and because we're choosing the color of a cat and after we've chosen the color I'm going to go and get one if you can, in the, in the homeless shelter, get a cat and name it Jeff, what you guys wanted. So, my videos are not always going to be regular, but they're going to be, um, they're going to be more often, if I can, um, and stuff. So, I hope you like my other video, Jonathan on his motorbike, because he is awesome on his motorbike. So, hopefully, you can watch that and tell me what you think. So, I'll see you on the next rant video. Yes. Bye.